Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, stasis, dermatitis, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos. And uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com, you know. And uh, alternatively, you can click the link in the description area which is just below this video, you know. So once you click that link, it will lead you to the website. Now I come to the topic, what is stasis dermatitis, you know. You know, it's a skin inflammation and that develops in the people with the poor blood circulation, you know. And uh, it most often occurs in the lower legs because uh, uh, they, uh, where the blood typically collects, you know. Now when the blood collects or pools in the veins of your lower legs, you know, uh, the pressure on the veins increases and the increased pressure damages your capillaries, you know, uh, which are the small blood vessels. And uh, this allows the proteins to leak into the tissues, you know, and this leakage leads to the buildup of uh, blood cells, fluids and the proteins and that buildup can cause your legs to swell, you know, and this swelling is called like peripheral edema, you know. You know, the people with the stasis dermatitis usually experience swollen legs, uh, swollen feet, and the open sores, and the itchy and the reddish skin, you know. And uh, the one theory is that uh, uh, the protein called uh, fibrinogen uh, may be responsible for the changes you see in your skin, you know. And uh, when the fibrogen leaks into the tissues, your body converts it into the active form of protein which is called fibrin and uh, as it leaks out the fibrin surrounds your capillaries you know forming what you are known as fibrin cuffs you know and these fibrin cuffs may prevent the oxygen from entering to your tissues and when your cells don't receive enough oxygen uh, they can become damaged and uh, they die you know uh, so that's uh, how the ulcers happen, you know. The next thing is, what are the symptoms of the stasis, uh, stasis dermatitis? You know, the symptoms may include like uh, uh, skin discoloration, itching, scaling, and uh, ulcers, you know. And you may also experience the symptoms like uh, venous insufficiency, including like uh, uh, leg swelling, uh, cough pain, uh, cough tenderness and a dull leg or the heaviness in your legs that gets worse when you stand you know and uh, uh, in real uh, cases you know on the skin or your legs uh, may look like thin you know and your skin may also itch but try not to scratch it you know and scratching can cause the skin to crack and uh, uh, fluid uh, to the to seep out you know and the infection you know and over the time, these changes uh, can become permanent and your skin may eventually thicken, it may harden or it turn into dark brown, you know. So this is called as lipodermatosclerosis, you know. Um, and it may look lumpy as well. And uh, uh, in the final stages of the stasis dermatitis, your skin breaks out and... Uh, uh, it causes ulcers and the sores and the ulcers from this condition and usually form on the inside of your ankle, you know. Okay, next thing is what are the causes? Well, the poor circulation is the major cause. And typically, the poor circulation is the result of the chronic condition called venous insufficiency. And the venous insufficiency occurs when your veins have the trouble sending blood to the heart. Okay, so uh, there are one way valves inside your legs, veins, you know, and uh, their function is to keep your blood flowing in the right direction, uh, which is towards your heart, you know. Now, in people with the venous insufficiency, these valves, they become weak, and uh, this allows the blood to flow back towards the feet and uh, a pool in your legs, you know, instead of continuing the flow towards the heart, you know. And this pooling of the blood is what causes the stasis dermatitis. 
the varicose veins and the congestive heart failure are also known as the causes of the leg swelling and the stasis dermatitis you know and most of the conditions that cause the stasis, stasis dermatitis they usually develop in the people as they get older you know and there are also several causes that are unrelated to the age and they may include like uh, uh, traumatic injury to your legs you know a deep vein thrombosis in your leg and the surgery such as using the leg vein to uh, for the bypass surgery you know so these are the other causes uh, um, uh, like uh, regardless of age you know now the next thing is uh, how any any risk factors you know well this condition affects uh, the people with the poor circulation and it uh, it it's common among the people whose age is over 50 you know and the women are more likely to get it uh, if compared to the men you know and uh, a number of diseases and other conditions can also increase the risk of developing the stasis dermatitis and these may include uh, like uh, high blood pressure congestive heart failure varicose veins venous insufficiency obesity and uh, a deep vein thrombosis you know and the lifestyle also play an important role you know and uh, the risk is high if you are overweight or if you don't get enough exercise and you sit or stand for extended period of time you know and uh, you know you should see your doctor if you notice there there is a swelling in the legs or uh, the symptoms of uh, stasis dermatitis especially if uh, you feel pain or redness or maybe open wounds or the ulcers and the pus like drainage you know so in that case you should consult your doctor the next thing question is the when you visit your doctor how your doctor will des uh, i mean diagnose the condition you know you know to control uh, to diagnose this condition your doctor will closely examine the skin and your legs and he will ask you the questions about any or the medical history you know and then he will perform the physical examination and uh, visual examination you know and uh, then he will order the venous doppler ultrasound so this is an uh, non-invasive test and it is used to like sound waves to check the blood flow in the legs you know and this is a very helpful test to diagnose the uh, like stasis dermatitis you know now once diagnosed then what are the treatment options well there are several things that you can do to help uh, treat the stasis dermatitis like uh, avoid standing or sitting for a long period of time or uh, uh, prop up your feet when sitting you know or wear the compression stockings and uh, wear the loose fitting clothing to avoid any irritation to your skin you know and you ask your doctor about the types of the skin creams and any ointments that you can use you know and avoid using the products like uh, uh, lanolin you know or calamine and other lotions that dry your skin you know and because they, this way it, there will be more chance of skin cracking you know and the topical antibiotics ointments such as uh, neomycin due to possible allergic reactions you know which can worsen the condition and uh, uh, benzocaine and the other numbing medications you know so because this way you will not notice and when you scratch you know and your doctor uh, might tell you uh, to put feet bandages uh, uh, on the wet bandages you know uh, on your skin and uh, it might prescribe, prescribe like uh, some topical steroid creams and ointments and uh, uh, he may prescribe the antibiotics if needed you know if the skin is become infected you know and surgery may be recommended to correct the varicose veins if uh, if it become painful you know and the, treating the conditions that cause the venous insufficiency such as high blood pressure or the diabetes or the uh, like congestive heart failure you know also need uh, by correcting those uh, conditions also helps to control the status dermatitis you know well if it's left untreated uh, it can result in multiple complications like uh, chronic leg ulcer osteomyelitis or maybe bacterial skin infection and the permanent scarring you know uh, it it is usually the result of the chronic illness such as uh, congestive heart failure so it's difficult to prevent it if you already ill you know uh, but you can reduce the risk of prevent uh, by preventing the swelling in your legs like peripheral edema you know and uh, that causes it and you can also lower your risk uh, by exercising 
and taking other uh, lifestyle changes measures you know and exercise is a great way uh, to improve your circulation and to reduce your body fat and limiting the amount of sodium you consume can also help you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day keep watching goodbye